Joined now by Ron Paul Mann, Jesse Benson. So, a good night for you guys. Must be feeling pretty happy. Oh, we're ecstatic. What a victory for us tonight. We've consolidated this down into a two-man national race. Now we're the conservative constitutional alternative to Mitt Romney. And like Dr. Paul said, we're coming in, we're nipping at his heels. What is fascinating about Ron Paul is he's the oldest guy in the race by a significant margin, but he appears to be attracting the most vibrant youth vote, uh, especially on social media. How have you managed to pull this off? I mean, it seems an incongruous match. <laughs> well, he has the youngest ideas in this race. He's beyond the ideas of freedom, of limited government, of personal responsibility, of free enterprise and commerce. Those are really, really appealing to young people. The other thing is, is he tells young people the truth. He's honest with them, tells them about the mess they're inheriting, but he offers a solution. Our constitution, liberty, getting our freedoms back, and young people just respond so well. Mitt Romney is running on this sense of him being electable. And the criticism at your man is that he's dangerous. Tonight, he kind of embraced the danger and said, damn right I'm dangerous. Uh, an interesting strate strategy, but can you move from dangerous to electable, do you think? Well, we're dangerous to the status quo. We're dangerous to the establishment. But uh, we're, the, we're the best choice for the American people. The people that, that want their freedoms back, want to obey the Constitution, want prosperity back in this country. I mean, that, that's, that's what Ron Paul is all about. Danger to the establishment, the safe choice for the Americans. He was a strange lone voice today supporting Mitt Romney as all the criticism heaped on him for his apparent comments he liked firing people. Why did he stick his neck out like that? <laughs> Well, there are two things that should bring all Republicans together, and that is one is realizing that, you know, the media will pull some gotcha statements from time to time and take things out of context, and then number two, that we all rally behind free enterprise and capitalism. And uh, we, we, just, we just think it's very unfortunate that Republicans are going to demagogue some things taken out of context, and they're going to use the language of moveon.org to attack another Republican. Look, we want to have an adult conversation in this campaign. Now that it's a two-man race, we want to engage on the issues, talk about the issues that are serious to the American people. Uh, and we're, we're going we're to criticize Governor Romney on his record of supporting an individual health care mandate, supporting TARP, supporting big spending. But we're going to engage on the issues, have the adult conversation the American people deserve and not demagogue these, these silly personal things and not try to tear down the free enterprise system. You're on a great roll uh, so far. South Carolina will be tougher. The latest polls have Ron Paul 12% fourth place. It's a bit of a battle you're facing now. How are you going to change the operation moving forward? It's got to get more serious, hasn't it? It is. Well, Dr. Paul hasn't campaigned yet in South Carolina, so we're going to be rolling down there tomorrow. We're going to have a great rally. Uh, we've got a wonderful program. We've got great mail. We're going to pump in, pump in some great TV, grassroots. We're going to carry the momentum that we're carrying from New Hampshire down to the Palmetto State, and we're going to do very well. And again, as, as people coalesce behind Ron Paul as the only serious alternative to the establishment mainstream candidate Mitt Romney, we're going to see a surge in momentum. You can guarantee that. And uh, finally, and quickly, where does he get his energy from? From the people, from the supporters. Uh, you know, when, when we all start to feel a little bit tired, you know, we, we just like to connect with the supporters. And the, the energy of the young people especially, it just lifts everybody up. It's just absolutely amazing. And it's what fuels him and keeps him going. Well, do congratulate him from us. Jesse Benton, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Pierce.